Does your brain Twitter? It concerns me. Are our brains being reshaped by the new technologies of interpersonal communication? What effect does internet and smartphones have on the nature and quality of relations? Are we creating new norms and expectations that are downright unhealthy for the future of society? And how do these new technologies reprogram children's minds and their perceptions of reality. I'm in that generation that spans the period of inkwell, pen and nib and the contemporary clickety-click of keyboards. My life has been bookended by the era of letters written with premeditation, deep thought, grammatically correct and with style. And at the other end, the more contemporary thoughtlessness of Twitter and cutting Facebook retort. I recall a time when local letters would take some days to reach their destination and several more days before a response would be received, allowing for thoughtful communication and nurture of relationships. Has all that disappeared forever? Are we doomed to flippancy, superficiality, inconsideration, and straight out stupidity? In days of yore, parents could filter information flow to children, shielding tender ages from life's excesses, tawdry images, warped materials of sick minds, delaying exposure until an appropriate age and then accompanied by explanation. Today, the child can stumble on the most horrific trauma-inducing fantasies simply through parental negligence like leaving the computer or smartphone on unlocked. And not just children. How many families have been broken by pornography addictions? or husbands' wives becoming married to their computers and iPhones and family life eroded by ubiquitous 512K home office. I used to read science fiction and thoroughly enjoyed Asimov's thought experiments into the world of robots, like the iRobot series and how to protect the world from robots becoming lords rather than remaining serfs. But has a role reversal already taken place in front of our eyes? Our home services, telecommunication, gas, electricity, water, are all linked to these bots that control their flow. All the bots need is superior software that allow them to simulate human thoughts and even feelings, and that would make H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds seem like Kinderspielen. Perhaps that's too far-fetched, but the steady rebuild that the computer technology is having on the most precious feature of human life, relationships, should be very concerning. The answer does not lie in a reversion to the olden days of prohibition, then of liquor a century ago. But we do have to grow in wisdom, discipline, and leadership very quickly, or the shape of life on earth could roundly change, not for the better. We must become more mindful rather than filling our minds full of useless Twitter. <laughs>